Hello and welcome back to another knitting pod. I am Lena and I'm so happy you're here. Um, if you watched my episode last week, you know that I was in the mountains skiing um, and it was incredible, you guys. It was such a fun time. Um, it's always like being in a little snow globe with my family. Um, we just skied our butts off and just enjoyed having nothing to do but be with each other. It was pretty amazing. Um, what else? I didn't get to knit as much as I want to, but I'm not sure I ever knit as much as I want to. Um, you know, I think I would get like 30 to minutes to an hour a day to knit, so it wasn't too bad, but you know, I could have used more always. But um, one of the things I finished, you're seeing right now, it was the Robin beanie that I was making um, before I left and I took it in the car. And honestly, you guys, I love it. I'm so happy with how it turned out. You know, one of the great things about the top down construction is that when you try it on, you really can tell what it looks like. I think sometimes when you're going bottom up, and you're closing it as you go. You just, you don't know exactly the slouchiness level. Um, so I really enjoyed a good top-down beanie. This was the first time I'd ever made a top-down any hat. Um, the pattern is by Sari Nordland, I believe, I think. If it's not, I'll, I'll pop a little note in. But um, she is incredible. I cannot believe how prolific some of these designers are. I mean, just so many patterns of hers that I want to knit, but I'm really glad I got to knit this one. It was fingering weight held with mohair, and I do have to say, I probably will not be doing a fingering weight hat anytime time soon. It took a hot second. Um, it just felt like it dragged on a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but anyway, I love the result. I know if you guys watched last week, you know I was a little bummed that my mohair was kind of mellowing out my hot pink, but I really think it turned out beautifully. Um, and it's extra cozy, which was great in the mountains where it was so cold. And I just feel like myself in this hat, you know, cause it's hot pink. Um, and what else? I finished my ranunculus. I'm not wearing it right now, but I will show you next time. Honestly, the reason I was desperate to tape today and I, Normally, it's been a little longer since my last episode than I wanted it to be, but I really had to get on because I promised you guys, let me back up. I guess it was a week or a week and a half ago. Yeah, it was not this last weekend, but the weekend before, La Biena May was having a free shipping sale because it was Vogue Knitting Live and she was um, in New York, and so I guess it was just like a fun thing to do, which was so generous, and I was so thrilled, because who doesn't love La Bienna May? I mean, not only is their yarn amazing, but their yarn shop has so much amazing stuff, even off-brand. Anyway, so I was thrilled, and it I like took me two days to figure out what I wanted to get. Um, and I finally figured it out and I ordered it and I promised you guys that I would not open it until I could open it with you. So look, I'm so excited. Do you know how hard it was? Like we literally got back yesterday and this was waiting for me and I didn't open it because I was exhausted and I was in a terrible mood because coming off of the mountain is really hard. I get real grumpy because I love being out in nature so much, but I waited to open this with you. So are you ready to open it and see what I got? And then I can tell you what I was planning to make. And as I open it, I'm gonna have to be very careful because I can feel the yarn and I'm scared using scissors. Alas, I shall be careful because now that would be a tragic turn of events. <laughs> um, so I'm actually, I, I got this delivery because I was very excited. I don't know if you guys ever watch Amy Palco of The Meaningful Stitch, but I love her and she, um, 
always knits herself a birthday sweater. And I just love that idea. I love the idea of making something special for yourself. I just don't think we ever like are as kind enough to ourselves as we deserve to be. So I just think it's such a special little thing to do for yourself. So I really wanted to do it this year. I've never done it before, probably because I haven't been knitting for very long. <laughs> um, but so this yarn is to make the birthday sweater I wanna make and I'm very excited about it. So here we go. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm crinkling in your ear because that is very annoying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so excited. Here we go. I'm going to pull it out. Here's one skein. Oh my God. Okay. So this is Wandering Flock. The dyer, I believe she's in Brooklyn. And I just look at that color. It's called Mermaid Parade. And you guys know I live for our pastels and neons together. And I mean, what? I I'm speechless. I mean, I just, they do pastels and neons just so well. I mean, look at that. It's, it's, you know, it's always so interesting to me how different yarn will look on a computer screen as opposed to in person. So this is lighter of a green than I anticipated, but I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, it is stunning. Okay, let's open the rest of this. And I'm thinking right now that they messed up my order. Or maybe they didn't. I don't know. Let's see. They might have. Because I swear I got two mohairs. And so this is the same color in mohair. So I will tell you now. Oh my God, look at all this color. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to make the Lace and Fade Boxy, I believe that's what it's called, by Hohi Locatelli. I'm going to put a picture up. It is so beautiful. It is alternating stripes of, um, I guess it's stockinette and then lace. And it's just a really oversized, beautiful sweater. And I've been dying to make it. It's been on my queue forever but I just couldn't figure out the perfect color combination. And I mean, just look at that. Like I love how it's the same color, but color looks so different on different yarns. You know what I mean? Like look how kind of abstract and mellowed out the colors are in mohair. It's just like this watercolor effect that is so stunning. And then this just looks a lot crisper and a lot more, you know, speckly, not watercolory. And I just think it would look so cool in one garment to have those panels. I'm gonna put a picture so you can see if you haven't seen. I've never knit anything by Hohi Locatelli, so I am excited. Now, I am gonna tell you, I'm a little concerned that they messed up my order because I swear I bought two, maybe I did it, maybe it's, it was three and one, but I will figure that out. That's a me problem, not a you problem. But anyway, I'm just thrilled. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous colorway. You know, there's a color that, you know how much I love hedgehog fibers. There is a color, um, what's it called? Park Life. And I was actually thinking it was gonna be a lot like Park Life, but this is a lot lighter, so I'm really happy. Park Life is a lot deeper of a green. Um, this is just like my favorite kind of neutral, right? A pastel. So yay. Okay. That is that. So that's the yarn. And then I got some little trinkets that I was very excited about. So one thing I've never shared with you guys is my obsession with enamel pins. I love enamel pins. They're just so spectacular. And I'm going to show you my little collection. 
I have this little knitting pouch and I have all my enamel pins on it. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. This one says, just one more stitch. This is a sloth in an inner tube drinking beer. <laughs> oh, it just make me so happy. This one's really good. It's one of those Danish butter cookie tins, but it has balls of yarn in it. Anyway, I just, I love enamel pins. They're so much fun to collect. And, you know, like when my daughter and I went to Wollenfolk and Rhinebeck, we got some there and it's, my kids love them. So we just kind of all, wherever we find enamel pins, we always get them. It's just this really fun thing. And this is not, this is like a pouch, like a toiletry pouch that my mom gave me that they got on a flight um, that they took like years ago. So it's so random. This is not even like a knitting, actual knitting pouch, but I freaking love this thing. Like if someone stole this or I lost this, there would be a mourning period. Let's just say that. Um, it's like the Scaredy Cats version of tattoos. I think in a different life, I'm brave enough to get tattoos. It's not this life. Um, but these are like little, it's like my version of a tattoo. It's like a little memory and a little something that just, I don't know. Like, you know how Dre Renee has all those tattoos and she's so extra cool? I wish I were like that. I would get all these things tattooed on me, but I digress. The point is I got some new enamel pins. Oh my God. Oh my God. This might be my favorite I've ever seen. It's so much cooler. Again, do you see it? It says the wand chooses the wizard and it has a knitting needle and it just, and I don't know if you can see that it's like sparkly. You know, I love sparkly. I'm really excited. Oh, and look at the little back is even hearts. Oh my gosh. So my daughter picked the same one also. She got, she got one of the same. And this is like truly how I feel. This is like my motto. I'm not kidding. Like, don't you feel like knitting chose you? I didn't choose knitting. Knitting chose me. And I am so grateful. You know that like life without yarn and knitting is just one sad state of affairs. So we just feel sorry for those non-knitters. Um, oh, and this one, I got another knitting. I got another little enamel pin. I'm so glad we're doing this together. It's so fun. So this one is twill and print. Um, I'm sh it's got two pins and it's connected by a little chain and it says warm and fuzzy. So cute. And it's pastel. Um, I actually, it's so funny when we were at Rhinebeck, we were in one of the little, whatever it's called, you know, at Rhinebeck, they're like barns. Is that what it is called? Anyway, so we were walking and you know, I'm obsessed with enamel pins. So there was this, these two women in front of us and one of them had like crossbody bag with like a gazillion amazing enamel pins. Sorry, this is making my, <laughs> the mohair is making my nose itch. So I had to stop her. I was like, oh my gosh, your enamel pins are incredible. And she looked at the, the her daughter who she was with and they laughed and it turns out she was the twill and print girl. And those, that was her mom. And her mom was, was like her biggest fan, of course, and had all her pins. And so I got to meet her. And then, so from then on, I was, you know, I was coveting some twill and print pins. And so this was the only one they had on the La Bienname, but I snatched it up. Um, they have other ones that are so cute. They're like row counters. And then other ones that are like spinners are very, very cute. Um, if you ever encounter twill and print pins, get some, um, support her. She was so cute. I wish I remembered her name now, um, but I do follow her on Instagram. You should too, because she's got some really cute stuff. So yeah, that is what I got. Thank you for opening it with me. Let's pray that I didn't screw up and get the wrong amount. I'm really worried because she, like it's printed out here. So I hope I did not screw it up. We shall see. But is there any screwing up yarn? I, we'd find a way. We'd find something to do with it. The thing is though, you guys, like, um, Wandering Flock is a really small dyer. Um, 
And you're probably wondering if she's in Brooklyn, why are you ordering it from Paris? The problem is she like she's a small dyer. She's not like this huge operation. So they don't have all the colors and all the yarn weights in stock on her Etsy shop. So it's just hard to find. Like she sells out really quick. Um, I had never seen this colorway in her Etsy shop. So I'm really excited to have snatched it up. I wish you could feel how soft this is. I think it is a two ply sport weight. It is the baby alpaca sport weight. Um, it's 50% extra fine merino, 30% baby alpaca, 20% nylon. Um, 100 grams sport weight, 400 yards, which is an incredible amount of yarn. Um, I love how squishy it is. It's just got a little more body than fingering weight and yay, I'm very excited. So yeah, that, that is that. Um, I feel like I need to, actually, I'm not going to say that. I was about to say I should stop buying yarn. I did buy some yarn yesterday that I'll show you when it comes. Um, but my, my plate is clear right now. I finished this hat. I finished the ranunculus. I made a lot of progress on the twists and turns shawl. Um, I took that on vacation. So once I finished everything, I was working on that, but that's like my long term. I'm not in a rush to finish it, but I am free right now. I'm after I finish recording this, I'm going to wind this yarn and swatch for the pattern. And I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah, so this, I'm going to get this on the needles. I might cast on a hat for one of my kids. I told you guys last time I really owe them both a hat, especially my son. Um, and that is my plan. So this is a very short episode. I promise I will be back in your feed once I get this going. I'm thinking on Friday I'll record a full episode, but I wanted to record this episode because I couldn't open this package until... <laughs> I um, opened it with you. So thank you for watching. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If my voice sounds a little <clears throat> off, it's because I taught a class this morning and there's always lots of yelling and screaming over very loud music when I teach. And um, that's why I don't like to record on Tuesday because I am tired and my voice is tired and I can't show up to you guys as my most Lena self, but again, I wanted to knit this and I also wanted to open it with you. So alas, that is what happened. So I hope you're having a great weekend. I hope yours was in as incredible. Um, we are set to get some crazy weather, you guys. It is like 50 degrees right now, which in Boulder, Colorado is in February is balmy. And tonight, it's supposed to go down to negative six. So over 50 degree drop. It's going to be a commitment to my hat. So it's going to be just incredibly cold. Um, so yeah, tomorrow will be such a lovely knitting day. I'm hoping to get um, a lot of knitting done because yesterday and today, I just I haven't been knitting and I'm feeling very lonely without my fibers. So anyway, I will leave you here but I will be back in your feed later this week, I promise. I know I said I was gonna uh, record maybe in the mountains, but it's just so busy. And you know, um, when you're skiing, it's just, you wanna get out there and get as much of it in as humanly possible. Um, it was just such a great trip. I made so much progress as a skier this time. So practice really does uh, make progression. So not only with fiber, but with other endeavors as well. So yay, um, that's it. I will see you in a couple of days, okay? Go get some fibering on yourself and I'll talk to you later, bye.